Dietrich admiring that one. He is homered for the second time against the Pirates this year. That one way out of here. I think he hit that one further than Frazier hit his. Yeah. And it is into it's the wet. Allegheny. Yeah, that's a lot, a lot further. And the Reds take the lead back. I was looking at Melky and he looked like Puig. He was just standing there. So the leadoff walk and then the second home run by Dietrich. That, that was a home run. Well, the admiration maybe uh, peeving the Pirates. You have one like that. I mean you might as well look at it a little bit. I know that it's not the old school approach but you don't hit a home run that far that often. Statcast says 436 and Cervelli having a word with Dietrich. Where do you stand on that. I mean as a pitcher. I didn't care. Yeah. I, I never care as long as the guy's not wolfing at me running around the bases yeah. which happened a couple of times and, and then that developed into a problem. But you know they can flick a bat stand there whatever I, I, I shouldn't have given the home run I guess but I didn't like it. So I, it wouldn't bother me but I'm I was probably and maybe even still am. But you know, back then when I was playing I was really in a minority guys would get bothered by that. I mean you hit one like that. I mean if it's going to hit and sneak in the first or second row. Yeah. Well, you, you, you know what. The, the, you there's, get running. There's but. things that happen during a ball game. Besides looking at a home run. That no way they would have gone. Years ago. You and I didn't have a problem with that. I mean uh, when you hit one like that. Uh, well know, that I, I don't the have longest a, I don't, money hits in his career. I don't right? have a problem because I just yeah. don't have a problem with him. Yeah. But as I said. When we were talking about before. I'm in the minority in that. Now Cervelli uh, kind of glared at him as he crossed home plate the first time around and of course a pitch comes in at him and Archer is going to be warned. Uh, Archer apparently has a problem with it. And David Bell saying well why warn him. And here comes everybody wants to talk about it. These two teams have played each other quite a bit here in the early going and it's feisty. There's some pushing and shoving. Don't let anybody get hurt now. Whole lot of hullabaloo. Yeah, I like what Bell did. He, I mean, he, he's uh, you know one of the big bodies out there. He went, and got right in front of his pitcher. To, Protect him. Not too many getting by Josh. No, nobody's going <laughs> to go by him. And that's where the pitcher's residing, way out of the fray there. Well, this has been established. David Bell is hot. I mean, he's still hot. I'd be surprised if Bell hasn't been ejected. He came roaring out of the dugout to protect his player. Seeing one sail behind the back of Dietrich. Well, the old baseball code had been broken, apparently. Seems to be a difference of opinion, though. It's like the guys in the red shirts; they didn't, they don't feel like they did anything wrong. And uh, Puig is going after it now. He's throwing some arms around. Just when you thought it had quelled, well, Puig got his arms up. Well, I think Puig and the Cervelli were kind of jawing at each other as they were. Everybody was leaving. There's Trevor Williams in the middle. Well, it's, Trevor doesn't look very happy either. Maybe he's the one that's saying something. I'm going to take an army to hold him back. There's Vasquez with his shirt off. This is going on a long time. Well, you know, the closer doesn't get dressed and go to the bullpen until later on in the game. He he's come out from the uh, the clubhouse probably. That's why he doesn't have his uniform on. Now 
these two teams yeah it's chippy I mean they played each other a lot here to begin the season the Reds don't forget they're one and seven they've got to be frustrated but the Pirates uh, instigating with the throw behind the back of Dietrich after Dietrich admired his home run a couple of innings ago. Well I think you were right when it started and when Bell came out Bell was upset that they didn't throw Archer out of the game if talking if, about David it, Bell the Reds manager not yeah, Josh Bell not just, just David Bell yeah. that that he wanted Archer thrown out of the game because Archer obviously threw one of his players and you know the umpire can do that. Um, I, Jeff personally, I, crew I personally chief. have been thrown out of a game for throwing any players so they, they don't have to give you a warning they can just throw you out if they feel like that you purposely threw at somebody. And the rookie Reds manager right out there no stranger to big league ball long big league career and now they're Josh Bell he came out there right away and he got in uh, the front of Archer and then Trevor Williams grabbed a hold of Archer and then pulled him to the the back of the crowd and for most of the time it looked like uh, this is early in the fracas. Now he kind of circles around. He out. He eventually outflanks everybody. Goes out to the side. And uh, Princey was uh, the, the the first one to grab a hold of Puig. Tom Prince, the bench coach. And before this half inning began, this is Puig and Starling Marte. Perhaps discussing, hey, just don't hit our guy. Don't get anybody hurt. Umpires are in a little uh, meeting just uh, all by themselves right now, deciding what they're going to do about all this. We don't know if there have been any ejections. Well, they must be going to throw somebody out uh, from the Pirates because they're they're calling Clint out. And the two managers are going to meet with Jeff Kellogg, the crew chief and home plate umpire. And that's Freddie Benavides that's out there. He's the bench coach. And David Bell is standing. Yeah, there, there, there he is talking with Brian O'Nora, the first base umpire. But he doesn't have the lineup card. Uh, he might be gone. Yeah. Trying to sort this all out, it all started. Dietrich admiring his home run in the second, and then the, the Pirates throwing behind him here on the first pitch to start this inning. I wonder if anybody else had been ejected. Quint's trying to figure this all out. Well, you, you when. The managers are pulling their lineup cards out. To me, that's a sign that there's going to be some player moves right. here. And we'll see. You wouldn't bring your lineup card to cross off the opposing manager. Who do we have left? <laughs> that I, I, might be I, asking. It was like know. nobody ever really. Maybe Puig. Uh, Puig this, might be tossed. This is uh, before the pitch. Came in. But he, at the end of all of this, uh, and this is what I'm referring to, he started coming charging just when everything had settled down again. So maybe that was not to the umpire's liking. Try to stir things back up again. No punches were thrown, but some shoves and some good forearms and such. Trying to figure out who's remaining. Well, Archer obviously is still in the game. He's warming up right now. Yeah, and that's all an umpire's taste, uh, as you pointed out, Bob. I mean, uh, he could have been tossed. Uh, you could argue that Puig could be 
ejected. Well, we're trying to figure out uh, who might bat here if Dietrich had been ejected. There's nobody visible in the Reds dugout that resembles Derek Dietrich. I think now, they're waiting for Puig to leave. Yeah, Puig is a. Uh, Looks like he's been ejected. He just made a gesture toward one of the umpires. And they won't start the game till he's gone. And that is not a surprise. That he is gone. And he is in right field. It's Felipe Vasquez. Well, Puig is not. If he has been ejected, he's not leaving. It looks like he has been. Yeah, he's gone. And he's going to add to both of those totals. Wow. Almost the same place, and that might have gone to the river on the fly. How about that? A pair of home runs in the game today, both into the Allegheny. And all of a sudden, the Reds are back in this thing at 7 to 5. And remember, the two. Late inning pitchers that the Pirates rely on have been ejected from the ball game. Well, you got to find a way to get him some more playing time, and knows it right away. Derek Dietrich. 